In our last video, we worked on delete, and in this video, we're going to work on edit and try to wrap everything up so that we can end with this series. All right, so um, now let's work on, delete, on editing. So when I hit the edit button, what should happen? And this would take us back to the single to-do creator. And uh, with this single to-do creator, uh, we'll come to this side and we'll say single edit dot add event listener. I'll say click. click. What am I typing? <laughs> click and I will say initiate. Initiate edit. So let's create that function. So function will say initiate edit. I'm not going to bring in E here. So yeah. So I'm going to start with bringing in the parent identifier. So parent identifier, they will just do get identifier, then E. Okay. So now we're going to let's search for um, the to-do identifier. So let me just put that search for to-do identifier. Okay. So what we're going to do is a const found index is equal to search to the index and bring the parent identifier and then let's create and so at the top we're going to create a um a new variable so what this variable is going to be used for is whenever we hit the edit button it's going to host the ident this particular identifier for us is going to hold it in place so that by the time we want to change or manipulate this data we know the exact um object we want to change so i'm going to call this um let's edit id tracker Okay, and let us say zero. It's going to be empty in the beginning, but let me copy that and back to the base. So I can see edit tracker is equal to the found index and then const found text is equal to all to do's dot no, 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 all to do's. Then the found index dot text. So let's console log that. Let's see what it's. Let's see what's a found text. No, 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 no. Up ah, the text, yeah. Save. So if I say jog, enter, edit. So you can see this is the text, exactly what is here. Let's bring in, um, go along. It did go along. Fantastic. So now um, we want to put this found text, we want to put it into the edit input, which is this. So which means that we need to bring in the edit input at the top, right? We're going to say const edit input is equal to document uh, get element by id let's see edit input yay We'll say edit input dot value 
is equal to found text. And then we're going to say, so what we want to do now is we want to remove this close. Remember, whenever this close is present, this edit model doesn't show. So we want to remove that. So we're going to say edit. Um, so now we're, we have to now bring in this model too. So we'll just go to the top and we'll say edit model. So we'll say edit. Mm. No, const edit model is equals to document dot get element by class name. Mm -hmm. I did model, then we say class list, then we want to remove the closed. Save. Let's see if that would work. So start with jog as usual. Enter, hit edit, and jog is here just the way we want. Okay, so now when we change anything and hit enter, nothing happens. So let's work on that. So to do that, we have to go back to our um okay, so We'll just go to the top and add an event listener to this edit input. Yeah. Oh no, this edit input, sorry. So add event listener. So this time I'm gonna say key down. Then we'll say edit single, edit single to do. Okay, so at the base, let's just bring in that function. So we're going to say E. I'm going to say um, if e the key is equal to enter, then we'll say all to do's. Then we're going to now use the edit id tracker that we used initially, the text that we created here. That we created, yeah, that one that we, yeah, that's at the top. So then we're now going to change it to the e the current target of value. So the value is going to be changed. Then we would say render all to do's. And then we would close the model. So edit model dot class list. Let's add closed. So we could even decide to remove everything inside the text. So this edit the value we could just decide to empty it equals to we'll just make it empty so that there's nothing inside. All right. So let's try that. So jog edit change it to jogger. And jogger. Okay, so now we have this issue of mountain climb, which is here. Just this ones. So essentially, what we want to do is let me just remove this ones. So since it's not like it's a problem. <laughs> 
because the render to do wasn't called in the beginning. That's why it looks like there was a bug, but it's just the same. All right, so, so if you say edit, say jogger, so now it changes to jogger. All right. Okay. Um, we've been able to edit, we've been able to delete. Now we need to be able to drag it from here to here and things should happen, which is like a really interesting part that I believe we've gotten to the juicy part of this. All right. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's head back to single to do creator. So in single to do creator, we are going to add an event listener. This event listener is going to be drag start. So this to do box dot add event listener. So this is going to be drag start, drag start. So when we start dragging, what should happen? So I'm going to create a function called on single drag. All right. So this function is going to kickstart what should happen when we start. Um, dragging so function shit all right we're going to say const b to do is equals to e dot current target Then we're going to say um, const identifier is equal to the to do the data set that we've set previously. So if just as a reminder, what we said here, All right? Then we're going to see. Um, Mm, okay, so we're going to see e dot data transfer. This is a special property for the drag and drop API. So e dot data transfer. This is a special property for the drag and drop API. So we say set data. So um, we're going to say call this dIden. All right, and then we're going to say identifier. So. I'm going to create another um, variable at the top here. I'm going to call it transfer element. So let transfer element. So there'll be nothing there in the beginning. So back here, I'm going to say transfer element is equals to the to do. So this to do here, or this entire to do here, is going to be inside this transfer element. Yeah. All right. So that is when we start dragging. The next thing we want to do is when we drag into this area, something should happen. So we are going to um, go back to the top and add an event listener to the completed section. Add event listener. And then we're going to say drag over. So we're going to create a function called completed or just uh, let's just call it completed drag over. Drag over. Okay. So 
the function is going to be completed, drag over. And then I'm going to say E. I'm going to say E dot prevent default. Prevent default. And then we're going to say E dot current target dot class list dot add offering. So what I'm doing here is triggering this. So remember in our style.css, I mentioned, where is it? No, no, not here. I mentioned we needed something to happen on hovering. Uh, yeah, this. So this is what I'm trying to achieve. So the background color will change. So let's save and refresh. You know what? So that I don't have to always type every single time. Let me call this render to do. Or oh, remove, <laughs> whatever. Okay, let me just type jog. So if we come here, you can see this is happening. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, so now you can see it's permanently there. So after that, the next thing we want to do is <clears throat> when we drop it, or where we drop or we leave, something should happen. So let's start with drag leave, right? So just do this, we just duplicate that. And then we'll say drag leave. And then this would be completed drag leave. So we're going to create this function, right? And then, so it would be like this, almost like that. It's yeah, identical, oops. It's identical, so I'm just going to duplicate that change this and instead of add, I'm going to change this to remove, right? So if refresh, jog, so yeah, so that happens. So When we drop, so now when we drop here, nothing is happening. It just leaves this like that. So what we want to do is on drop, um, it's, so we're going to call it, um, hmm, what should we call it? We just call it completed drop, right? So we're just going to top, we're going to change this. So in completed section, we're going to say drop. Now we're going to say completed drop. So I'm going to copy this. Then we come down here. We we'll say function. Nope. Function completed drop. And then E. So it's going to be exactly like this here. Uh, maybe I should just call it, so I'll just say completed. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll just say completed drag if uh, yes. So because I just want to remove it when it drops. So let's see. So jog. So if I drop, yeah. Good. Then I would now say e that. Um, now, when I say const the identifier, so the ident, that's going to be e dot um, data transfer dot get data. Now, the other time we set data here. So now let's get that data. So we called it the ident. So now we're going to create a separate function that is going to handle what happens when we come um, when we've dropped. So we're going to call this function transfer transfer from uncompleted 
Okay. We could call it transfer between sections or something. Okay, let's let's just call it transfer between sections. All right, so I got to put the identifier there and the E. So let's copy this. So function, this, and then I can see the identifier and E. All right, okay. So we're going to search for the to do a um, identifier search or the identifier identifier in all to do and we're going to say const found index is equals to oops search for to do index I say identifier then we say const found to do is equal to all to do's oops all to do's then found index good so now if the um so depending on the um so Okay, let's just start with um, dragging it there. So what will happen is we would now say mm, Okay, we'll just say um, found to do dot is completed is equals to true. Right. And then we'll say e dot current target dot append child, which is now going to be the transfer element. Save. And let's see what happens. Refresh, jog, rag, drop. Yay! And it drops at this side. Whee! Fantastic. Okay. But now, you may be asking, what happens when I come here? When I come to drag to this side, see, nothing is happening. Because we need to be able to return it back in case, um, in case, let's say for some reason, the person realizes they have not completed the task. Okay, so what would happen is we would go to the top. Hmm? We would go to the top and then we are going to put the two, the completed section and the uncompleted section into an array. So I'm going to click const the sections is equal to, let's say completed section and then uncompleted section into an array. So what we're going to do is we're going to loop through this and then add the event listeners to both of them. So we're going to say the sections dot for each. I'm going to say sec. Nope. I'm going to say section. So I'm going to just take this into here. So, and then I'm going to change this completed section into section. Yeah. Okay. So now if we refresh and we do this, so if we drop this here, when you see, you can see now where we drag over this, it gets activated. So we need something to happen when we um, drop what should happen. So let's just head back uh, to to transfer between sections. So at transfer between sections, we're now going to determine if, so now if the E dot um, current target, current target dot class list dot contains, if it contains um, completed 
section. So we'll say true, found is true, else, and found to do dot is completed. Is equal to false. All right. Okay. So every other thing should kind of work the same way. The job, enter, drag. And so if we drink, bring it back. See? Works. Okay. So now we need to add the delete to this particular. So now if we hit this delete, it doesn't get deleted. So what we we'll do is that we'll come back to um what is it called? This seal delete, then add an event listener. So that's going to be seal delete button dot add event listener. I'll click. Essentially it's just going to be this same thing. Refresh, jog, enter, drag here, delete works as expected um okay so after all this what's left is just to work on this area so so that whenever we complete an item or we delete that item it reflects all right um okay hmm okay so we're going to create a function and we're going to call this function um cal calculate done to do okay so we're going to bring in this particular one i'm going to bring in these two at the top so i'm going to say Mm. Okay, so we're going to say const to do's. Uh, uh, length display. Yeah. That calls to document the get element that ID to do's. Okay, then we want to bring in, did I spell that correctly? No. <laughs> okay, then we want to bring in the completed, no, this is going to be a mouthful, completed to do's length display. All right, so it's going to be document, the get element by ID. And then we'll see, and just bring this in. Then the length. Okay. So we save. So we put, we're just going to head back here. And we're going to say to do length display dot in our text is equal to all to do's dot length. So let's let me let's bring this and see what happens. So at the moment we can see three. So if we refresh, we can see zero. It changes to zero because the length of all the to do's we had is zero. Okay, so that works. Then we'll say now we want to um calculate this how many has been done how many has not been done because as you can see this is saying to do completed so how many has been done so we'll just say const that will say filtered completed is equal to all to do's dot filter then we'll say um to do so if there is a to do, if to do is completed is equal to true, 
which means it has been completed because that's what we're changing here. Uh -huh. If it's completed, if it's not completed, so yeah. And then we say completed, um, completed to do length display dot inner text is equals to filtered completed dot length. So save, refresh. Now we have zero over zero. But well, obviously, if we nothing changes, so it means that we need to add this function to when we create a new one, which is in where is that? Where is add? Yeah. So here, this. So refresh the job. So now that's that. We need to also add it to where um, when we, we are done dragging. So add the drop, which is transfer between sections. So here too, we need to do this. We also need to add it when we delete something. So where's that delete? Delete, 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 delete. So yeah, here. So delete. Um, Let's try that. So jog, um, take a hike, um, run. So if I bring this here, it says one of our three completed. If I delete this, take a height, it says one of our two completed. If I bring this back here, it says zero over two completed. Yay! Wow, that was really a long one. Um, this brings us to the end of this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did enjoy it, please do like, please subscribe, and drop in the comment section what you think about this. If you want me to also do it in view or react, do let me know. And if you want me to do this with class, um, just let me know also. Um, thank you so much for being here. Until the next one.